uh, putting um, upgrading PeerTube on Reclaim Cloud. So PeerTube, um, I have it installed using Docker Engine, and it's not PeerTube doesn't need a load balancer. You can set that stuff up at the beginning. In fact, I've written at least one uh, piece of support documentation about getting an environment up and running. I have to update it because I'm realizing this documentation was having folks run through a reverse proxy called Trafic, when in fact you should just use Nginx. So I will upgrade this, but this is one document. I also realized that Tim has also created a one-click installer on Reclaim Cloud, and I wanna look at that because there is a one-click installer for PeerTube if you search here. And I want to see um, how he's doing that, if that's using a um, Docker engine container. And as Taylor was talking about yesterday, you have the whole container within the container idea with Docker engine, which is pretty interesting. So anyway, I am just going to show you quickly how to upgrade um, PeerTube in Reclaim Cloud, because it's not that bad, actually. And uh, I should be able to do this pretty seamlessly. So. Um, the thing about it is I have it and I'm going to go to my SSH web interface here and I am going to show you and I'll actually uh, make myself a little bit smaller so you all don't have to worry about looking around me, so to speak. So let me run to A. There we go. Okay, so that should be good. And I should be able to get rid of that. Okay, so here I am at the command line in the container of PeerTube. And what I want to do is I want to go where PeerTube is installed, which is at cd slash home slash PeerTube. This is where I install PeerTube um, in Docker Engine. Your, your mileage may vary depending to Docker directory. And if I do a list here, ls, I'll see the docker compose.yaml file and the docker volume. Uh, for, for this instance, I am going to actually open up and show you what's in the docker compose file. So it's docker dash compose and I should be able to tab complete that. And here is actually nano allows me to edit a, um, a file on the server. And I want to go down to the place where it defines peer tube settings. And that's here in this file. It's peer tube. You see it right here. Let me see it right here where it says image. Right. And then you'll see it says John X Livingston slash peer tube live chat colon production dash buster. In fact, that's not the official um, peer tube image. It's an image I actually have loaded that's effectively um, pulling in a forked version of peer tube that has a prosody uh, server, which actually allows for chat to happen because this guy, John Livingston, who um, released this uh, modification, added that server to um, his Docker image so that I could get live chat working. So I use this as a specialized instance. If I just wanted to load the normal Docker instance, I would basically go to Docker Hub. And let me do that right now. Docker Hub. And I'm going to look for PeerTube. And Choco Buzz, I think is the name. Yeah, this is the official. Um, this is the one, the official PeerTube instance, right? And they've recently updated. And I go to tags. And in tags, I'll find the latest version. And here, the latest version is version 4 called Bullseye. So I'm just going to copy this little bit of, of code here. And then I am going to go back to Reclaim Cloud. And I'm going to do a copy and paste in here, but I don't need the pull Docker. I just need the official name of this release. So watch what I'll do. I'll delete what's next to that image file here. I'll paste this in and then I'll get rid of the Docker and the pull because I don't need that. And I'll put a space between the colon and this, this actual name. And then this, the next time I spin down and spin up my Docker container, will no longer have that John, John, no, John X Livingston version with the Prosody server. It will now have the Bullseye version. So let me Control X to save this file, and I want to. 
And that now, my compose file has been modified. Nothing changes on my instance now because I haven't spun it down and spun it up. But at this point, I can do both. So watch this. I can go in here and I can grab a command called docker-compose-down-v. So let me put that in here. docker-compose-down-v. And if you see that, this will allow me to actually take the Docker instance that's running right now and basically turn it off and delete it. But not the volume would have all of my data, just the core files for Peertube. So I'm gonna do that, right? And let me get here and do that. Boom, it's shutting everything down, done, 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 right? Now that that's off, when I rerun my Docker container, it's not gonna go for the John Livingston version, it's gonna go for the version four, so the latest version. So let's try that. What I would need now, and this is all for when you're working in um, Docker Engine on Reclaim Cloud, is docker-compose space up dash D. And if I do that, the same thing will happen. It's running everything. And if I go to my PeerTube instance, and I'm gonna do that right now, I'm gonna to go to bava.tv and I'm gonna click here. I am now in, everything's running, right? Like there's no problems. I don't know if you've ever updated WordPress, but that's never a given. But then I'm gonna go here to administration, go to system, right? Or actually, let me just go to about. And about will tell me the peer two version, as you can see right here, it's four. So as an example, that's super easy. Now, I actually don't want that version. I want the Chaco, um, I want the actual John Livingston version because right now I want to be able to have the Prosody server so I can have live chat with my videos. And uh, that's a really cool feature of, of, so watch how easy it is for me to change versions. I'm gonna go back into that nano, into that file, that compose file. So I'm gonna go here to nano docker-compose.yaml or YML. I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna go back down to the um, specific image file I spe the image file I specified. And then I'm gonna go to John Livingston's site where he documents his live chat plugin and he has information on there about installation. And I'm using the one that's Prosody plus Peertube. That's the one I'm using. And he has some great directions here for what you do when you're running Docker. And it's just basically run the image, John X Livingston slash Peertube live chat colon production dash Buster. And Buster is the older version of Peertube. So I go now in here, I get rid of this which was version four in that image line. I paste this, I control X and save this. So that's all saved. Now I am going to spin down the Docker instances, Docker compose down dash V. So everything goes down again, and then I'm going to spin it back up and Docker compose up dash D. That's it. <laughs> Let's see, let's test this. If I go to my Docker instance now, or my Peertube instance now, and I refresh 3.4.1, so you can't see that too well, but all of my videos are still there, right? And even when I go to administration to look at the plugin and the theme, that plugin is there, right? The Peertube plugin for live chat is there, and I should be able to see the settings and make sure none of them changed. Let me just confirm as much. Yes, I changed this local host file so I know it's the original. So effectively, you just watched me upgrade and downgrade my PeerTube instance using Docker Engine in a Docker container on Reclaim Cloud. And that is that. I'll have more to say about PeerTube, particularly with the setups. And I got to modify some, uh, some documentation and clean some up. But I... <laughs> really liking. Finally, the breakthrough for me with Docker is when you understand how it works and when you get a sense of it, you really, it makes managing infrastructure like PeerTube so easy. Amazing. Anyway, that's it. I'm done. Big fan. 
Jim Groom signing out.